Hello and welcome to another tutorial on IK Booster. This time we're learning how to save and load motions using IK Booster. So let me load an object, our favorite object as usual. And let me add the bones to this. Control V and add IK Booster. Go to the IKB menu and remove the controller size all right so now we have our character so let me ik stop there so we can animate this little character all right fix and fix at the end and ik stop all right so and just like that our rigging process is done Okay, so let's change our mode to all items up here and we're ready to animate. So the thing is with IK Booster, if I make a uh, an animation, for example, let me do that and let me do something like that and go back to frame 10 and raise it like so. So now I have a little animation here. Now, if this, let's say this is a very complex animation I could save this and load it later on. So to do that, let me make sure that I select the actual object where IK Booster is located, and then I can save the motion. Now, you can still save the motion uh, from any bone that you'd like. For example, if when saving the motion, I select this bone right here, it means the motion will be saved for the children of this bone from this bone to the children down here and not to the rest of the body. So it's important to know which bone you selected or which item you selected when saving the motion because that's the same item you need to select when loading the motion back. So if I'm saving the motion for the entire character, I select the character and then right click, go to motion twos and here, as you can see, there's a pause save, pause load, motion save, motion load. I never actually use pause save. I use motion save even when I'm just saving a pause, I just give it two or three keyframes to save. So if I go to motion save, for example, I hit motion save. So this dialog box uh, comes on. So here I get to choose how many keyframes I need. And as you can see, my animation is 10, 10 keyframes long. So what I could do is put 10 keyframes, but unfortunately, IK Booster has a bug which eliminates the very last keyframe. So just add one keyframe at the end. You know that you want to go up to frame 10, so just put 11 there. Here, when you click, you get a chance to actually save your motion so let me save this as test, for example. I've, as you can see, I've got a bunch of motions saved here that I actually use. And let me save this as te test and say, okay. So these are text documents that are being saved there and hit okay. All right, so right now that I saved this motion, as you can see, this is the motion, I can go in and select all these keyframes except frame zero and then delete them, right click and delete keys, okay. So now the animation is practically gone, but I could go to any keyframe in the timeline, let's say frame 50 and right click, go to motion load and then go down to my test file. And then I say, okay. So here the options that are here, it says start at frame 50. That's where I wanted to start. Premix and post uh, mix frames. This this is just like um, transitioning into other keyframes. So I just just leave it at zero and hit OK. So now I have that motion back just like that. Okay. So that's how you save and load motions. Now, if you're wondering why Lightwave goes to that particular folder when you say motion save or motion load, is because that's the folder that's selected. If you want to change it, just hit D and go to paths, okay? Make sure that use custom paths is 
uh, clicked otherwise everything here is disabled so if I say use custom path and then on dynamics that's the folder that it looks for so you can hit this one and select a specific folder that you want to be using for your animation so in my case my folder is down in drive D uh, which folder is this that folder poses and new so okay so it's saved right there so when I right click now to load a motion that's the folder that I go to so this is very very useful because uh, I you can save out whole animations of characters right here for example I can uh, show you that I have a walk cycle for this uh, character so as you can see that the walk cycle but it's just a few steps like that now because it's just a few steps I can easily copy it I can click in the dope track select all these with the left mouse button select all these keyframes right click on any of them and say copy keys and just hit OK now during this copy I can actually specify where I want it to paste now I want it to paste that frame 12 even though I've selected 0 but that's fine uh, let me go to frame 12 actually if I just say copy keys and say ok it will duplicate these keys one more time but if I want to do a whole bunch of them I can select all these keys right click copy and then go to where it says end and specify an end time for example 100 uh, frame 100 and say OK so then the whole thing is going to loop through like that so I can have a complete walk cycle of my character okay so that is how you save and load motions using IK booster and that can really speed up your animation time and don't forget because these motions that I load and save are actually keyframes on bones I can practically remove if I go to properties appearance I can remove IK booster completely just say remove the animation still remains because it's the keyframes on the bones themselves okay so the character is still moving without IK booster activated on it so this is very very awesome if you ask me all right that's it for this tutorial i'll see you in the next one